Hello, October uh, 21st, Sunday, October 2012, sorry. I'm going to try a little something different. I wrote some things down. Well, I wrote something down. Um, I was thinking what to do with some of my videos that I have on YouTube that portray me negatively or are flat out vile. It's a question, it's a dilemma I have. On the one hand, it is my form of expression, my right, my first liberty, given to me by the Bill of Rights. Not given to me by the Bill of Rights, but... On the other hand, they could be used against me politically and socially to hinder and even possibly, possibly halt my ambition direction. On another hand, when I die, they could be helpful for others who might find themselves where I once did and serve as an assurance for hope or a better tomorrow. I have some of them marked private, some I did not bother. Some make me uncomfortable to watch as I really question my state of mind. It is quite a dilemma. I could, I should, review them all as it was the plan when I got myself invested in YouTube. I could leave them all private. Doing so hides a part of me captured that I'm ashamed and embarrassed, but importantly I'm not interested in spending my limited, finite life energy defending. Doing like so hinders my ability to have my life serve as a tool for someone else's life to get better. So the question is, am I willing to sacrifice a little bit of my time and energy to attempt to better others? Considering that with the political ambition there naturally comes a great deal of sacrifice. I have here a book I just purchased. Edgar Allan Poe for eight dollars. Look how big this is. You get so many pages. This is all all mine. This there are this is just an aside. There are eight hundred and thirty or so pages. Uh, Edgar Allan Poe, complete tales and complete tales and poems. I wrote that wrong. It is a cheap hardcover and has a glossy wrap that can easily come off and get lost. Inside it is written the life of of American writer Edgar Allan Poe was characterized by a dramatic series of successes and failures, breakdowns and recoveries, personal gains and hopes dashed through, despite which he created some of the finest literature the world has ever known. I'm attracted to the writing of breakdowns and recoveries, naturally. Unfortunately, today's reality is that if a person's poop smells the wrong way, it will be taken out of context and circulated. I guess I come to think I come to thinking some of this is about self self preservation given that I'm um, giving this so much thought that it is important to me it is important for me to have it to have it be right in some freakish manner this is proof that I'm concerned about making sure the right thing is done uh, basically my conclusion that I'm coming to and we need to review and organize each one. I also have questionable writings on my Facebook, probably questionable photos as well, and with the photos I put a little smiley face. I'm not too concerned about the photos, but the writings I am, because the words... Because, well, I guess I'll just continue on. I was going to make a, a couple of series of different videos. Um, I was in my... Uh, let me get my phone. I'll, I'll show one second. I was in the bookstore at Barnes & Noble, and I examined everything, and uh, there's a lot of rubbish there. There's a lot of gibberish writings, and but there's a lot of very good writings there. Uh, and there's a lot of writings that makes me wonder that maybe I should publish some of my own writing uh, professionally, because some of the things that people say... Uh, uh, so just bear with me one moment. Okay, I won't bring this up. While I was in Barnes & Noble, I saw an, uh, an employee inspired me. She was, uh, she was very tired. And, um, uh-oh. Did it save? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, maybe. 
please. Oh no. Oh no. It did not save. No, 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 no. No, no, no. How do I access it then? It must be like a. No, it doesn't save. Basically, let me try to remember it. Words can be heavier than stone. Words can be. Basically, it was like a short poem that I was writing on about how words, just words, have a very serious impact on you. Uh, just somebody telling you, I hate you, I love you. Um, somebody calling you a nasty name or somebody giving you a compliment. somebody saying something positive about you or somebody saying something negative about you they impact you and with that they could also destroy you if you let it if you let it they can do, words can destroy you words can make you tired words can make you happy words can give you energy words can take away your energy words can words can do a lot and that, that was why it began with words are heavy. Some word, uh, words can be uh, heavier than stone. You have to ask yourself, how words, how, how, how is whatever written here heavier than this? It's impossible, or like madness. <laughs> it's possible. Um, I was going to make a series of videos. I don't know if I should just continue this. I was going to make a, a new addition to how I do this. I was going to just have what I share in some of these personal books now that I keep and I write in. Um, obviously, this would be personal. I have something for when I do my, when I work on my uh, campaign. All my stuff goes in there. Then when I, uh, I'm attempting to write poetry, I'm, t I'm attempting to write poetry about government. Um, mm, or to explain. Uh, I'm attempting to portray uh, this vision of a republic that I have. You say, well, what do you mean, oh my God? Well, the United States of America is a republic. Each individual state is a republic. A republican form of government. So I write about that. That's something that I will be. Uh, I plan to vigorously be educating people on. Uh, so what was I going to say? So I was going to have a, a different video. Maybe I should about some of the things I've been doing recently. Uh, so I think I should just do that and make another video, and then I'm going to make another video, uh, something a little small project so okay I'll end this here and in my next video I'm going to create like a new a new thing but I'm going to talk about what I actually did like events I guess life events not yeah because this is this is all personal stuff and also I had a interesting um, uh, thing how to uh, how to defend myself if somebody were to question anything that I do here. Well, there's actually no indication on uh, anything that I say that it is real or true. This could all be a mere act. And the person watching, there's absolutely no, um, there's no uh, proof. There's an assumption, and uh, and if I say beyond that. I will be opening up a loophole for people to, you know, I'll be opening up a loophole that I don't want to open up. I guess I'll open up. Well, it would be, I mean, I mean, if you meet me, I'm very, I don't think I'm any different, <laughs> in all honesty, in terms of, uh, I guess my behavior, I guess, yeah, I guess my behavior. 
I don't know. That's what I think. Um, yeah, so I'll do a life event. Or you, know, you, you talk to me, I guess, in person. You know, I talk to some people through Facebook and through Skype um, that I've met through the process of this or email a private message. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it, it would be a hard sell to say that all of this is a lie. I wouldn't it would be almost a, I wouldn't, I, how would you, I don't know, I don't know how you'd even come up with that notion. I don't know. Well, many of you can easily come up with it, but I, I don't know what, um, what evidence there would be, any observation, anything, I don't know, I would, I can't think of a single one. I guess I can talk about something else now. Um, no, no, it would be the life's event. Okay, so I'll end it here. This is really too long. And um, I've, um, I'm drinking water now. I've come to the conclusion that I have been um, finding myself dehydrated too often. And I've been getting, uh, I guess... I feel it in my head, in my stomach, and then I realize that I don't really drink water. I just drink coffee, and I assume that there's water in there, but it's, uh, my friend Oleg tells me it dehydrates you. So, uh, so then I don't actually drink any water, so now I have to make an effort and drink water. Not that I've lived like that my whole life, but I guess recently I've just been something I've been neglecting. Uh, so I have to make a conscious, um, a conscious, um, I have to be aware that I need to drink water, because it doesn't feel natural to me for me to worry about water. Uh, okay, I'll end it there.